Wait a minute. Who's that? Another new face? <gasps> Jude! Huh? Well, well, Jude Mathis. Long time no see. How come you've been such a stranger? W -w 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 wait What? It seems he thinks you're the Jude of this world. Just try to play along. Um, well, I've just been so busy with my research and everything. Aw, oh, you poor thing. Is that slave driver Professor House still running you ragged? Perhaps I should give him a piece of my mind. No, no. That'd only make it worse. Yes, he does seem to garner affection from some rather strange characters. Huh. Ah. <laughs> but from your perspective, I suppose that I'm rather strange as well. Perhaps I'm in no position to comment about anyone else. Better to keep an open mind. Hey, I know. How about it, Jude? Would you care to tether with me again? Come on. What? Oh, I... I'm sorry, but we can't do that anymore. Oh, really? Uh, Mila! So you're gonna dump me and trade in? It's her, isn't it? Easy, Luger. No need to get him angry at you, too. Although I appreciate your support. Ah, look at that. She's flirting with that fellow. Ah, that foul temptress. This is awkward. Not enough to hold you back. Stay on guard. <laughs> like this one need a proper beating. Was that from another book? Yes. It was called The Virtue of Tough Love. Just who exactly are you anyway? 
I am Mila Maxwell, the Lord of Spirits. Huh? Oh, then what happened to Maxwell, the old fart? He's gone. I am the successor to the previous Maxwell's throne. <laughs> well, it all makes sense now. And apparently, Jude is Maxwell's new human companion. Human companion? You say that like the old Maxwell had one, too. Yes, indeed. Although, their relationship went down in flames. And now, both you and Jude are headed for that same ruin. What? I don't know my predecessor's story, but I'm certain Jude and I have a different sort of relationship. A different sort of relationship? It's all the same tale, different time. You don't need her, Jude. Believe me, you just stick with me, and you will be treasured forever. I promise. Aska, please, just answer this. What happened to Maxwell in the past? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you, only because you're so damn cute. In the past, old man Maxwell was betrayed by a human woman whose name was Mila Krisnik. A human, with my name, betrayed the previous Maxwell? Was this the same Kresnik as the Genesis Sage who first summoned Maxwell? He's actually a she? Indeed. And let me tell you something. There has never been another human like her. No, sir. Ever since she summoned him, Maxwell became more and more fond of human beings. It even ended up putting him at odds with Kronos. Exactly. A real pity, that one. He's beyond help. Really, he's less of a human hater than a spirit lover. And there's one particular spirit that he just can't seem to get enough of. Spirit lover? That's not something you hear every day. So I'm guessing this Kronos shared a close bond with a spirit as well. Oh yes, definitely. His one true friend in the entire world. That Kronos. He was such an obstinate creature. I don't believe he ever met a spirit he didn't clash with. So, this Mila Kresnik from ages past and the former Maxwell had a close relationship. But something happened that ended up making things go sour. Something significant enough to destroy it forever. Well, all I know is this. Things weren't pretty. Oh, no, they weren't. Old man Maxwell became furious when he realized that Mila had betrayed him. But like true love, like yours truly, he couldn't forget her. What's going on in here? Jude? What are you doing here? Professor, please, allow me to explain. It's still here! Huh. Luger! Whatever possessed you to bring outsiders here? I know. You're after my research data, aren't you? You're planning to steal my How Prize. That's not true. I would never do that. Quiet! Aska, kill them! Kill all the traitors! I don't think so. No one threatens my Jude. You hear me? My... My, my research! Oh, oh, ah, oh, ah. Jude, it's all truly a pity. I wish we had more time together. Aska, promise me that you'll take care of yourself, okay? Come tether with me again anytime. That Aska was certainly an odd bird. <laughs> I felt the same way. I just wish we'd had time to speak with him longer. 
Clearly, Asuka's story made an impression on you. It's written all over your face. It is possible, right? Humans and spirits really can coexist? Since when did you start questioning that? You need to have more faith in yourself. Whatever. Mm -hmm. What good is faith anyway? It won't bring back Mila. Or my daddy. Al. We all need to keep moving forward. If we stop, we'll just end up repeating the tragedies of the past. She's right. I wonder what tragedy kept the previous Maxwell from moving forward. We need to get to the bottom of that. Luger, please let us know if you get any jobs that might shed some light on this. I'm sure we'd both want to join you.